research is super, super important. I mean, we're, we're constantly striving for authenticity in our films, and because we're creating a fantasy world. The, the world that Riot and The Last Dragon takes place in is in this place called Kumandra, but is in, it is inspired by Southeast Asia, so we were really fortunate. Whole team of us, we traveled through Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, Laos, down to Bali and Indonesia, and it's, it's a really interesting thing because there's, there's research that you're looking at these incredible environments and landscapes. I mean, Angkor Wat, everybody should go visit Angkor Wat. That is an incredible place. But for me, it's much more emotional research. I, um, in, in Laos, for example, we're invited to take, take part in this, it's called Basi Sukhwan Fest Ceremony. And uh, it's basically all of the elders and uh, some family members from this uh, area come together and it's a blessing ceremony. And they, they actually always keep this one on. I've had it on for like a year now. It's getting a little dirty, but it's this white band I had all of my arms were covered with these white kind of string pieces of string because each of these elders comes up to you and as they're tying this little string around your, your arm, they're telling you this good fortune, this blessing of safe travels and where you're going and to know that they're with you and that they, they have love for you. And it's this beautiful thing to, to experience that and to sit back and go, this is something that I want to take back with me to my family and know that my family members even are loved and supported and give them a blessing. So it's, it's really impactful when you experience those things in other cultures because it just helps you in a strange way look at your life better. You learn from them and you, you, you just kind of look at it and you go, this is what our world needs more of. I love that so much. So that stuff starts to just inform even the story you're telling about bringing people together. And, uh, did they know that you were doing research to do a movie about them or their culture? They did, yeah. We, we kind of, we, I always approach it when I come in. I, I try not to hide anything, and I, I'm always very open with them. And I say, you know, this is this is a story we're telling, because that's really how it begins. It begins with me and, and Dean sitting together going, why is, this in, why is this story important to us? We're looking at our own families. We're looking at our, our boys, our children, and we're going, what is the message that we want to resonate with them? And so when you have this kind of fantasy world, but then this very personal story, you go on this trip and you, when you share that story with people, they really open up and they go, I understand what you're trying to do. And this is what, and just from an observer, I'm sitting there looking and they're going, this is our world and how we're approaching something very similar, which all of a sudden makes the world seem a little bit closer together, which is a beautiful thing when we can see like someone on the other side of the world is dealing with something very similar, but, but not the same as... It's a small world, after all. <laughs> that's that's, that's where that's going. <laughs>